Hey, you! Have you ever wanted to play NES games on your PlayStation? No? Well, shame on you, because this is an advertising for It Might Be NES. Our lawyers suggested we should specify this is indeed not an NES, but a software emulator to run NES ROM files on a modded PlayStation console. Please don't sue us. How does it work? Download the .exe file from our website, run the program, drag the NES ROMs in it, create an ISO, burn it, and you're done! You can now play Super Mario Bros. 3 using your netcon. Isn't that cool? It might be NES, only for PS1. It isn't actually NES, but... yeah. So, it was sometime around 2000 when a man named Alan Blomqvist decided that modded PlayStations could be used for more than making Polish Sony mad by playing pirated games. He decided to develop an homebrew, and homebrews were a thing on PlayStation. In fact, Sony themselves released a game kit for everyone to make games on called the Netia Road, which was kinda bad since they only let you make games that could fit into RAM, and that meant using 2 megabytes instead of 700, but people got a hold of leaked Sony SDKs or just made their own, and they made fully fledged homebrews anyways. And the homebrew that Holland made was a Henia simulator. We are now used to be able to play NES on basically anything, but back then it wasn't really like that. We had some computer emulators like Nasticle, which is the best name for an emulator ever, but you hadn't got really much of a choice. And so, it might be NES, was born. It supported quite a lot of mappers and this meant that a lot of mainstream games could run on it, but you can't play the masterpiece Kart Fighter on it, which is a shame because this is Smash Bros before Smash Bros and let's get back to the emulator. To set up it might be NES you need some NES ROMs, which I did extract from my Wii Virtual Console games, and that means I actually legally obtained them, which Nintendo did not. You need the it might be NES ROM bank file, a CD burner, a CDR or CDRW, whatever. And finally you need a burning program. It is really simple, you just open the ROM bank tool, put the ROMs in, create an ISO and burn it you're done. This is basically one of the most painless setups I've ever seen and you basically pop the disc into the PlayStation and play. Now we can talk about the emulator itself. It is good and by good I mean really good. The version I'm using in this video is the 1.3.41 which is the last one released and it works really great. Most games I've tested have no problems at all and they even support saving on the PS1 memory card. This is impressive since other emulators written for the PlayStation like PIS, which, which I have to say is another great name, have far more glitches, especially in the sound department. And I can really recommend this emulator for anyone to try because it's a really great experience actually to, to run on a PlayStation. I discovered about this emulator when I was 8 and I was just a little girl trying to play some games she played when she was 4 on a Famiclone that had since broke, just like every Famiclone ever. I first looked at some PC emulators but then I realized that I wanted a controller, I was too broke to buy a controller and I googled PS1 NES emulator and that was the beginning of the hand. I played some of the most famous NES games this way and this emulator has a really special place in my heart for this reason. After a few years it got replaced by Wii Virtual Console, but for the time being it did the job well, and it needs to be respected for this. This emulator was actually programmed so well that pirates everywhere decided to burn or even press discs with it, and the ROMs bundled, creating compilations such as the Mega Man Only One, and they sold these compilations in black markets. And by black markets I mean some really weird places to be honest. One of my friends had one of these compilations and he played all of the Mega Man NES games like this, so this was Virtual Console but you had to buy the games from shady guys I guess. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this little piece of PlayStation trivia, please leave a like and comment if you did like the video and give me some feedback about how I'm doing and yeah, I don't really know what to say except I'm sorry if I didn't publish video for a while, but that was because my headphones, microphone and camera SD all broke at once and that sucks, but I'm back and I can finally make more videos now. Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye!